To play Saga, as well as the rulebook, you need a universe book. Where the rulebook is softback, the universe books are hardback, not dissimilar to the Crescent and Cross and Aegis and Arthur books. They come with 12 battle boards, or at least the Age of Vikings universe book does, which cover the 12 main factions described in the book. Each faction is described with a little bit of history, a breakdown of their force, a table summarising their statistics and options, two heroes or legendary units, and finishes with a mini FAQ. Starting with the FAQ, these are all really useful. We can only assume they are questions that came up in playtesting enough that they were collated here. With the description of how some of the various abilities interact with units and the game, they provide the new player, and with the new edition we are all new players, with a starting point. The legendary heroes or units are given full descriptions and their own statistics summary. Also, any new or adjusted special abilities are documented here. These are almost like small cards of the kind that came with the first edition blister packs for mercenaries. It is easy to find out information for each faction by using the contents page, so an index is, for once, not required. The deeper description of the Battleboard abilities from 1st edition is now missing. However, the ability descriptions on the boards itself are quite clear. Many of the old favourites are here, Vikings, Anglo-Saxons and Normans, but some have disappeared, like Rus Princes, or been subsumed into other factions, Bretons into Norman for example. The Battleboards are at once familiar and different. Most abilities are still there, but nearly all of them have changed in some way. Joms Vikings still accumulate Wrath and need it to activate abilities, but there is now no upper limit on how much they can have. The last Romans, early Byzantines, are very similar to the old Byzantine faction, but now have a basic ability, Proelium, which can add dice to improve their abilities. Pagan Rus, meanwhile, have a similar feel. But every ability has changed, so they are a force you need to entirely relearn. There's just enough similarity to cause some confusion to the unwary. The new abilities themselves are geared towards improved player interaction. Most factions have choices to act in their turn or react in their opponents, often to great effect. The Welsh Guerrilla ability will catch a lot of people out and only costs one uncommon dice. The Anglo and Dane's Intimidation is another reaction ability that we can see being used a lot. The universe is rounded out with a section on any new equipment specific to the period, a list of swords for hire, and finally relics and artefacts. The equipment covers such things as special weapons and armour, however in Age of Vikings it is just the war banner rules. These get a whole page to themselves, although most of the page is a picture. Swords for Hire is a replacement for the old mercenary cars that we mentioned above, and relics and artefacts are new things that add extra dimensions to your play, although they are strongly suggested to only be used between consenting friends in a friendly setting, and as they have no associated points cost, that's a good thing. So there you are, Age of Vikings, the first of the universe books for Saga 2nd Edition.